Hello everybody, welcome to recreation.gov. Today we're going to go over how to reserve a backcountry itinerary for Mount Rainier National Park. So the very first thing we're going to do is if you already have a recreation.gov account, we're going to go to the top right corner and we're going to log in. If not, no worries, it's super quick and easy to sign up for one right there as well. Next, once we've done that, we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to start typing in Mount Rainier National Park. As we're typing that in, what's going to start to pop up is this Mount Rainier National Park Wilderness and Climbing Permits, and this is what we want. So we're going to give that a click, and it'll take us to this page. Now, the very first thing I recommend doing if you're new to Mount Rainier National Park or you just aren't sure which sites you want to stay in or where they're located, click on this Wilderness Trip Planner on the right-hand side. And then we're going to go to the second page. And it's going to show us this map of all the designated backcountry sites in Mount Rainier. And it also shows the mileage between them. So this will be a super helpful tool. If there's a certain mileage you want to stick to each day, this will give you an idea of which camps you should stay at. So once we have a rough itinerary, we'll go and check on availability. So we're going to go back to recreation.gov. And on the right hand side, we're going to click on this big blue button that says check availability. Now that we're here, we're going to start to enter some information. So the first thing we're going to do is our entry date. So for this example, I want to start my trip on September 27th. There's going to be three people in my party. And something to keep in mind when you're putting in your group members, if your party is only five people or less, only non-group site availability is going to appear. And if your party is six people or more, only group site availability is going to appear. Then lastly, we're going to go to Quota View and change it to Daily Groups. And this will show us the amount of sites left at each camp for those nights. All right, guys, so for this example, I'm going to be doing a multi-night backpacking trip around the Mother Mountain Loop in the northwest corner of the park. So for the starting area, I'm going to click on Carbon River Area Camp. Now for my first night, I know I want to camp at Mowich, so I'm going to scroll down. And it looks like there's still four sites available for that night. So I'm going to give that a click. Now, after I click my first night at Mowich, all sites that are within 17 and a half miles will auto populate. Once you've clicked your first site and started making your itinerary, do not click on a new start area in the middle of making your itinerary. If you'd like to hike more than 17 and a half miles per day, please give the Wilderness Information Center a call at 360-569-6650. All right, then for my next night, I was really hoping for Cataract Valley Camp, but it looks like there's a W there. So what this means is that there are only walk-up permits left. There are no permits left to reserve in advance. Walk-up permits have to be obtained in person at one of our Wilderness Information Centers. And you can get a walk-up permit as early as the day before your trip starts. So for this example, I could get one as early as the 26th. So for this, I'm going to go with my second option, which was Eagle's Roost, and we'll click on that. And when I go to pick up my permit, I can always see if it's possible to switch to Cataract Valley via those walk-up permits. All right, then for my last night, we're going to look for Ipsit, and there's still eight sites available, so we're going to go with that. Now, another thing to keep in mind, guys, so say in the middle of your trip that you're planning, you plan on staying outside of the park for a night in a hotel or at one of our front country campgrounds, you're going to use this out of wilderness option. So if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see out of wilderness carbon mowich. So what this means is that you will not be staying in one of the Mount Rainier National Park designated backcountry sites that night. And having this in your itinerary does not reserve you a backcountry site. So for example, let's say on the 30th, I'm having a friend pick me up and we're going to go stay at a nearby town at a hotel. So I would click out of wilderness for this next night if then I plan on coming back the first for another backcountry night stay. Awesome. So then we'll look over to the right hand side and you can see my whole trip itinerary picked out. So it shows all the dates and which camps we're staying at. So once we've completed that, we're going to go to the big blue button down on the right that says book now. So this is where you're going to enter all of your personal and payment information. Once that's completed, I now have reserved these sites 
and will go to pick up my permit in person at one of the Wilderness Information Centers by noon the day of my trip. I hope this helped explain things, guys, and we can't wait to see you at Mount Rainier National Park.